Hello. Oh, nobody's watching now. <laughs> Thank you for the thumbs up already. Give it a minute, see if anyone comes on. Oops. Hi, Nix. Hi, whoever second person is. <laughs> uh, how's everybody doing this wonderful Friday? <laughs> I'm doing okay. I've been working on these projects all day. But we're only going to do three out of six of them. Well, sort of. Some of them are envelopes that go with the cards. So... All right, so we're going to be working mostly with products from the holiday, well, they don't call it the holiday catalog, the August to July, yeah, August to July, August to December 2020 mini catalog by Stampin' Up. So this is all Stampin' Up products for those of you that might not be familiar. Um, these were, are not available now. They'll be available August 4th. There are some ancillary things I'll be using, like cardstock, envelopes, um, etc. And I'll mention those also when I use them that will be available now and are in the um, 2020 to 2021 annual catalog. And they're available now till next May. Hi, Vera. Thank you for joining us. And thank you to the two thumbs ups also. Okay, so, and if you're in the USA, uh, I would love to be your demonstrator. This is the host code for any orders under $150 in July. If you um, place an order larger than that, do not use this host code because you'll be able to get Stampin' Rewards, which equals free products. Ah, I can't answer that, especially not on this... Uh, <laughs> This forum next. <laughs> That's a decision you have to make. I personally would rather see you get other things. And don't forget, it is bonus day. So everything you purchase in July that is $50 order or more, um, you for every $50 you spend, you'll get a $5 off coupon that you can use in August or you'll lose it if you don't use it um, once this catalog goes live. So between August 4th and August 31st, you can use your $5 off coupons and you get one for every $50 that you order. So that is my spiel and we're going to get right into it. So today I wanted to use the ornamental envelopes bundle, which that is the stamp set. And here are the dies. It makes envelope liners, but oh, so much more, which you'll see when we go get into it. I'm um, also, um, the first card we're going to do is this one, and it's going to use the wrap, the gift wrapped um, bundle, which includes this, what do they call this, gift bow builder punch. So that's another bundle that's available August 4th. Okay, so we'll use that too. And the paper that we're using, well, this is shaded spruce cardstock. We're also going to be using shimmery white cardstock to do a little watercolor background. And we're going to be using the, and that's in the, um, the shimmery white is in the annual catalog and available now. It just has a real, um, I don't think you're going to be able to even see it on camera I don't think so maybe there a little bit you can see a little sparkle there maybe on both sides of it it actually has shimmer I don't know if that's because some of it rubbed off on one side or what anyway and then we're also using the tis the season designer series paper which is in the new mini catalog effective August 4th yeah I really like it too Okay, sorry, it's um, bouncing. And that's the other side of the paper, which we could use. It has like little dots on it, but we're using this side. And we actually need two pieces of that. I hope I got two. I did. I already cut one of them. Okay. So let me put the gift wrapped aside for just a moment because I 
think no, I might have put it away. And sorry for any noise in the background. Again, I've got my air conditioner on. I don't have that out on a block. So let me get the bow out before we start. We're using this simple one, simpler one here, so I don't have to do quite as much coloring. <laughs> okay. And okay. So, how we're going to start is to get everything I just moved away from me. And here's the envelope we're going to do. Um, we might change it up a little bit. Um, see, it has this on the inside and this on the front. Hi, Brandy, left handed crafter. We're using the ornamental envelopes bundle and some other things. To make well three cards and some envelopes but this is the first one so the first thing I think I want to do is move this out of the way um, is shimmer paint or yeah shimmer paint use a piece of scrap paper if I can find one but I just put a clean mat out we're actually going to take a piece of the shimmer paper. This is like two and three quarter by five and a quarter. No, five and a half, five and a half by two and three quarter. I did get the new uh, water painters and we're going to use the wide one. They have the larger size, which I'll show you like that. It's wet because I used it earlier and a medium one and a, a skinny one. But we're only going to use the wide one and we're going to bring in just jade, which is a little lighter than. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yum. Making me hungry now. I didn't eat yet. Now, if you have. Um the ink refills, which I didn't get yet because they went on back order or not orderable for a little while. So when they come back in, I'll be getting those. Um, you could, it might be easier. I have trouble pushing these down into the bin, but these stamp and write markers are the same. You saw me do this the other night. So I'm just going to um, put some of that in because it's easier for my hands than pushing. I did this earlier. I accidentally pulled this cappy thing off, which is, I think, there to hold these bristles in place. <laughs> there we go. So I didn't get it perfect. And just squeeze a little water. Yeah, I have it not perfect. Okay. Anyway, there we go. I'm just going to put this in any, any manner at all on this paper shimmer paper so it'll have a little glisten to it but it's going behind this uh, which is part of the envelope um, dies you can also just tap on your ink pad and then bring it down so you don't really need a whole lot for this we just want a little bit of color oops I got a little too much color there uh -oh. trying to get a little more water on that so the shimmer paper is not as thick as watercolor paper, but usually it works okay for this. There comes some water. But I dabbed that right into the um, ink pad. That's why that happened. It's okay. It's going to be underneath something. You can dab it onto the ink pad, but then you probably need to smear it into your case first. I'll look up in a second, guys. Now, normally I would also suggest just let this air dry, but we're going to have to use the heat gun. And of course, my noisy air conditioner is on. I did pretty good without it for a good part of the day up here today, but in the afternoon, the sun hits me from this uh, coming in like this direction, and it seems like it makes it much hotter up here. Okay, so that was just jade. I'm going to put that away. I'm going to wipe my brush off. And put it in this cap. Okay. And I'm actually going to put it. It comes in a nice little carrying case. Which the other one was didn't. I don't think. Hi Lori's Crochet Corner. 
Okay, so now I'm just getting out my heat gun. So here comes the noise, guys. I'm going to go down the middle. I'm going to keep it moving, though. I don't want to burn the paper. And that's about all I'm going to do. It's still a little bit damp, maybe. But it's okay, because we're going to let it sit for a little bit. And we're going to now die cut this. So, we're going to bring in... I can get rid of this for a moment now. We're going to bring in this die... And these are called, I don't know, <laughs> they're called the dies that go with the ornamental. No, <laughs> they are called envelope dies. How about that? But they come in a bundle with the stamp set if you want to get the bundle. So for now, uh, we're just going to use this ornamental piece, which cuts out the pattern, but it doesn't cut around the edge. So it leaves the impression in there. Okay. So, and I think before we do that, now this piece is three inches by five and a half. So it should be, yeah, this is just a little smaller. So we're going to cut this right out of the middle. But before I do that, I don't know if you can see it. I actually stamped around the edges with this little, uh, you can't see that, this little design here. Okay, and I just used Just Jade on the shaded spruce to do that. So I haven't seen, I actually searched and I haven't seen anyone else um, do a video on this yet. So I was kind of surprised. Ugh, flipping it over because I just did that too hard. I had this problem earlier. I push, I have a tendency to push into the stamp pad too hard. Tapping, tap, tap, tap. There we go. A little crooked, but I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to have a bow right over that one anyway. So as long as I don't mess up any other ones. <laughs> now that one's a little light. I may have to try and go back and do that other corner over here. Let me wipe this off first. All right. I'm just going to try and get the... There we go. I just tried to get the um, flower design and not the dots again. Okay. So now we're going to cut this out of it. So I have to turn around to do that. And I'm just going to try and place it actually not quite in the middle. I'm going to come down a little bit. And because I'm going to heat emboss a sentiment right in here. So I need room for that. So right about there. I'll be right back. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves. You probably are already anyway. Okay. And um, I'll be honest with you. This one kind of came about by accident. And... Um, <laughs> I was I kept trying to I had a whole card front size and I was like it just looks too plain and I was gonna put designer paper under it and I didn't like how that looked okay now I'm gonna bring my plate over and we're gonna it, it lifts up pretty good right you just have a few dots but we're gonna save these these bits now on the first one I didn't save all these bits but I may but I want this branch because I actually used that on another card this one which we're not going to do but I put the branch under here and then I die cut flowers out from this set uh, to make that card so let me just brush this off and then I actually am going to save these little petals too because I might um, do something with them later. I don't know. My, my creative brain is getting a little tired now. <laughs> How are you all doing? I hope well. I have a couple more dots stuck in there. This is the um, Take Your Pick brush attachment to the Take Your Pick tool. It comes with 
that attachment and these two foam mats, which I haven't taken out of the plastic yet. Um, so that is that. I'm going to put that back with my dies so I don't lose it. And I'm going to try and scoop these onto something. Maybe another block that I can put somewhere else. Uh, actually. If I didn't need this tray, I would just use my fingernail, actually. I'm losing some of the, poke, the little dots. <laughs> I thought about redoing it in red and saving the dots and because they would make nice little holly berry dots but you know what I have gemstones for that rhinestones and stuff so we're not going to do that did the dye and whisper away oh I'm sure it would be beautiful um, I also thought you know you could do it in like thick whisper white and um use it as a stencil i definitely will use or, or out of uh, acetate sheet and use it as a stencil i definitely plan on doing that so because i think that would be beautiful and then you could spray it and make it multicolors. you could make it multicolors in the background even too and I, frankly, am not happy with my corner stamping. But And I like that dark streak there, actually. I could flip it over and just get the light. But it almost looks too light. I like the darker streak going through. Well, this little dot was there. I don't know what that is, a flaw in the paper. I'll put a bling there. We're going to have a bow up here, and we're going to have words here. But this one is bugging me. <laughs> your PC just froze oh yeah stamp girls PC just died so that's why she's not able to uh, join us I'm not gonna be happy with this let's try Brandy's idea Yay. is that big enough no let's get a different piece is that big enough I can make it big enough We'll try Whisper White and ink the edges. Let's try it. Five and a half by three. Oh, that air conditioner is too noisy. Oh, no, I hope I like it. Anyway, let's die cut first and then we'll ink it. <laughs> So we'll give it a shot. I think it'll work. Uh, now, let's see, I'm forgetting. Let's do the. Um, do I want to do the stamping and risk it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right, ink pad, ink pad. Okay. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. How about that? can't even hear it oh well that's amazing because it is like rattling my ear off here it's to my left so I can't that way <laughs> which doesn't matter to you all but um, I'm gonna do this because I keep getting these little blobbies on the end and I don't, I don't know why all right that's pretty good on that one we're going to, oh, look how pretty that is. Look how pretty. I'm shaking. Maybe that's part of my problem. You guys are making me nervous tonight. <laughs> Not used to these Friday night, Friday evening, Friday late afternoon, whatever it is, lives. It's all good. I'll survive. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. That's better than the other one was. So we're going to go with that. Let me put this pieces down here somewhere. Eh, I'm out of room. I'm out of room. Cleaning my stamp. Cleaning my stamp. 
All right, now we can die cut. However, we won't heat emboss the words this time. We will just stamp them because it's white, so we'll stamp them in green. So what I do with the dye? Here it is. So now we will go die cut again. I'll be right back. Yay, Judy. Yay. Can't wait to see them. You should do a video. Except I don't know how you're feeling, so hopefully better than you were. And welcome also, by the way. I need to get back into that that set. I really like that set too, and I didn't do enough with it yet. All right, so now we also have a white stone we can use. <laughs> and white petals and whatnot. And there's our piece so far. Let's see how it looks over this. And then we'll ink the edges. I think it'll be pretty, and then we'll stamp in either just jade or, or shaded spruce there. So we're using the ornamental envelopes. I don't know if anyone else has gotten their catalog page that she got hers, which really surprised me. I still haven't gotten my demonstrator catalog yet, although I have one because I ordered some and they came in my order yesterday. <laughs> oh, still coughing. I'd love to see your sunflowers. I know I should be using my tool for this, but they stick to my plate because it's so um, scratched up. And if I use the brush, they'll go fly. All these little dots will just fly everywhere. So bear with me, please. Please bear with me. Anybody else's plate look like that? Hmm. And so much for fingernails, right? This is another reason I don't have nice fingernails. I don't know. Mine just break and split and all that. So I never have good fingernails. Okay. Let's ink the edges up. I'm going to get um, a finger dauber, I think, to do that. Uh, yeah. I have these finger daubers here. And I don't think I have one with just jade so or shaded spruce. I think I'll do hmm. I think I'll do shaded spruce around the edge actually. Uh, as soon as I figure out what I did with that ink pad. Mm, Garden green. I know it's here somewhere. I'm discombobulated. Oh, it's on the floor. That's why. It is on the floor for the second card. <laughs> uh. Oh. From Judy? Mermaid Shaker card? Use a dryer sheet? Oh, for the... um for the uh, plate. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, it comes out of the die really easy. It just doesn't come off the plate really easy. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, the key on this is going to be, can I stamp the sentiment straight? <laughs> I don't know. We'll find out. So here is what we're looking at so far. It's a little bit light on the background, but I think with the sentiment on there, it'll probably be okay. Maybe I need a little more ink around the edges. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um... I'm going to put this back where it goes so I know where it is next time. All right. Now we need to find the sentiment. So I used, may this special season be wrapped in love and joy, which I'm thinking was part of the, nope. Oh, uh, I think it was. I have like six stamp sets out here. I think it was from the night before Christmas one. Hang on. <laughs> Too many stamp sets. Okay. 
No. All right. It has to be one of these. Not that one. Yeah, maybe it's this one. Okay, it's from Perfectly Plaid, which I have on the floor also for the third card. So that is what we're going to use. And we're using May This Special Season Be Wrapped in Love and Joy, which originally I had out, but here it is. I put it away. So we have to stamp that, and, and we're going to do that, I think, in um, Shaded Spruce. As soon as I get a block for this too and then we're going to stamp the bow and punch it out as well and color it okay that's good to know okay Okay, may this special season be wrapped in love and joy. And leaning in, I think it's a little bit crooked, but we're going to go with it anyway. It is, oh damn, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can fix it. I can put colored paper over it and stamp it again. Ay, ay, ay. Silly damn. I don't know. Maybe this is not my best night to do these lives. My second set of lives. I'm going to try it again on a piece of white. Of course, I get that one perfectly straight. But it won't look right if I just put that over that. So... I don't know. Oh, we might be putting a piece of shaded spruce over it and heat embossing after all. And I want to really figure this out. Or we might call it cooks. <laughs> have to cut that thinner. why you save your scraps all right will that work if I put that over it it's going to cover some of that up it might be all right though this assumes I can get it on straight on there I think I might try and get it up close to the top and cut off a little bit more so now we need versa mark <laughs> Don't worry about it. No, no, no. I won't send it with it that crooked to somebody. It's just how I am. So we could be here a little while. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and get it up to the top because I may trim off a little bit and actually and over to one end. Mm -hmm. And before I continue, <laughs> which we don't sell that anymore, so I don't know why. I really don't know why they chose to stop selling an embossing buddy. I don't know. Okay, guys, I'm not having luck tonight. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Really? Well, that looks really crooked to me. But, okay. Well, we'll go with it because I can't get it straight on a little piece of paper either. And it's funny because when I did this one, I got it perfectly straight. So, I was like, ugh. All right. Well, let's get a scrap out and stamp our bow. See if we can do better with that. I have a scrap right here. And I stamped it in just jade. <sighs> Now, when you, when you do this, 
you want to stamp your bow close to the sort of close to the bottom of your paper that you're stamping on. I think that's right. Let me think about that again. Yes. Um, well, not. <laughs> I actually made a template. I'm going to do it up about a three quarter inch from the bottom of this paper. Um, I don't really need the little tag thing that comes with it, but you don't want it up at the very top or your or your um, punch won't go up that high is what I was trying to say. Really pretty bow. And there's different patterns. I love it. All right. Now, before I punch it out, we're going to color it and we're going to color it with Stampin' Blends. And I use Light Just Jade and light, I think, light shaded spruce. And I did the light around the outside. The light just jade. Yeah, you have been. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I have to get better, Brandy. You know? It's my one of my businesses, so I have to get better at it. If I want to do more than be a hobbyist with this, too. But I do appreciate you coming to hang out. <laughs> because the more people here, the better. It's more fun. I mean, if nobody came, I wouldn't be doing it at all. Which, you know, who knows? Maybe next year that'll be the case. Not this year. This year, I am. I am working it. Now, since we used white, we could actually leave that white, but I don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and color it in with light shaded spruce also. I'm making it tone on tone tonight. For this one, the next one's a little different. I tried to use, when I get these stamp sets now, I'm trying to use as many of the pieces in the stamps and dies or stamps and punch as I can at a time for, for the featured one that I'm doing. So in this case, the ornamental envelopes, but um, just happened to want a bow and I didn't really want a ribbon bow, a real bow on this particular card. And you can do lots of shading and things, but I'm not. Am I in frame? Sort of, kind of. I'll look up in a minute. Sorry, guys. It's hard to look up and check chat when you're coloring. That's why I usually don't do a whole lot of coloring on video because on uh, live. Well, that take me even longer than trying to get something straight. So there's are the Stampin' Blends. Um, you have to get them in a light and dark combo pack. But those were just jade and shaded spruce. So now we just take our punch and line it up. Pretty well. And... Now it does come with this itty bitty little tag, which you can't see, and this other piece, which I think is to wrap around the center here. If you want, you know, you can punch out multiple bows and, um, but we're not going to use them now. So I'm going to put them on my block with all my little scrappy things and that's going to go here. But first let's get our back, our um, cardstock. Our background, 
this off of here. Okay. So this is just a piece. It's um five and a half by four and one eighth. Oh no. Sorry, Brandy. My doctor for my next I, I have to do a three month checkup and we did the last one by this time, actually about an hour before my mother passed away. Anyway, on the fifteenth of June. And she said the next time I wanna I really want to do an in person in September because the one after that in December, we're probably going to be back to this, you know, thing that's going on in the world right now. One of the things. And um, so I don't think we'll be able to do that one in person. So let's do the next one. I don't know if we'll be able to do the September one in person. So what do you think? Do you like that one or do you like this one? Truthfully, I kind of like that one better, but we're going with this one. <laughs> it's not that it's not pretty. It's just different, and it's fine, but it's crooked, and that's going to bug me, but oh well. I'm just gluing this around the edges because it's a little bit smaller than this. They are the same length, however. So if we flip it over, I think. No, they're just a tad shorter. Actually, they're about an eighth of an inch shorter lengthwise, too. But this is five and a half by three. So that has to be five and, uh, what is it, three eighths by two and seven eighths, or two and three quarter, I think I said. Thank you, Judy. That's sweet of you to say. And remember, the bottom paper is shimmery white. It's shimmer paper. It's not the regular white cardstock. The top one, I should have done that on the top too, but I like the. there's a little bit of sparkle you can see popping through. I don't know. I don't think it'll show on camera. Probably not. It's getting blurry when I get too close. Wow, that seems really blurry. I don't know. Maybe it's too busy. And I popped this up on dimensional, so let me get those. And I need a little one for in the center. Boop. A couple big ones. Just, I just used one on each thingy. And maybe some little ones down here. And I'll put that away. So there is our outside with the crooked sentiment. Hate to say it, but this one will probably not get sent to anybody. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll add a little more green to it. Um, I originally used yeah, just jade. Um, I'm going to bring this down a little bit and put it right there. Um, I used just jade enamel dots on this one because they're a little lighter, but I think I'm going to use shaded spruce. I um, have to move my water somewhere else. Ooh. Shaded spruce um, out of the, uh, what are they called? Rhinestones out of the holiday rhinestone basic jewels, which are in the annual catalog. Because I think they'll just add a little, a little something, something to make it sparkle a little more. So let's just use three small ones of that, maybe. Maybe one up here. And maybe one over here. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right. <sighs> Well, that's probably true, Judy, and I probably should still send to my, um, the well, I don't know if they'll take them right now, honestly, my mother's nursing home that she was in, because they weren't taking packages from anybody. 
Okay, so on the inside, I just did more of those things, and I had a little strip of paper, but I don't think I have another one of those. So I'm just going to move those out to the edges and go with that, and we will use, what did I use? Just jade. So there's the card. We need this for the envelope. Okay. But I keep getting the little blobby on the end. I think I'm tilting it when I'm... That's not too bad. Is that one I didn't get the flower? Oh, well. Ah. Hold your flower down. All right, we're flipping it over. Hold your flower down. Maybe if I stamp in the middle of the ink pad. I don't know. I think I got too much that time. Not bad. So go light on the edges of the dots and hold your flower down a little better on this particular stamp. I had an issue with one of the other ones and I, I changed the block to a bigger block and it worked fine. I'll tell you which one that is when we get to it. Oh, I feel like I'm shouting because I'm talking over this air conditioner. 24 cards to the church. Oh, that is so nice. That's a good idea. <laughs> Nothing's ever straight. <laughs> yeah, I'm... It's not like I haven't eaten either, and I only had one cup of coffee today. Uh, which one was the good one now? This this is the good one. Okay. Um, I only had one cup of coffee this morning. I did have a cup of tea just before I came up here because I was starting to feel the slowdown mode, you know? Do you get like that? Three o'clock is usually my... I need a nap mode. <laughs> Okay, so there is the card. Now we have to do the envelope since this is an envelope kit. So where did I put the other one? Here it is. So this is what I did the first time. But I don't want to use these because they don't really match. Right? Um, but I do want to do, I think, the lines because... Yeah, because <laughs> we should. Um, and then on the back, I had done this. And we're going to do the stamping before I do the inside because, in case you know, I mess up again. So, I don't know. Maybe I will use. I think I ought to use the same, but this one's easier. Maybe we'll just do it the same. All right, let's get the lines done first because, and I'm going to use Just Jade a little lighter than shaded spruce yes they do most of them do not all of them but anyway i don't know they're so shut in right now still i think i don't know i don't hear anything anymore since i don't have anybody there so which is <sighs> sad anyway all right, let's try the one up here first. And in case you're wondering, this is on block H, the H block by Stampin' Up. I didn't do too bad, amazingly. Oh my gosh. I think it's actually straight. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. All right. We will use this one and we'll use, um, I guess we'll just continue with Just Jade since I have it open. All right. And we just did one there. And one down here. 
that you can't even see. And then I'll flip it over. And then what I did on the back is I used this branchy thing, which I have right over here somewhere. Is it one of these? Nope, it's this one. So we'll stamp that first. We're going to use that on the next um, card. We're going to actually make a wreath with these. We're going to try. We're going to try. I did it earlier, so I should be able to do it again. And I think we will do these in the corners again. See, this one stamps really nice. Hmm. The dotted line thingy gave me a little bit of a problem. The, the little one with the dotted lines. But that's just the user, I'm sure. It's not the stamp. It's me. This has a little more solid color to it, so it's a little easier. Now, we could put berries on there, but I'm not going to. Because we'll have berries on the next one. Thank you, Judy. Okay, so now we have to do the inside. And for that, I'm using another piece of the designer series paper from Tis the Season, which is available August 4th. Let me get some of these out of the way. And the envelopes are five and three quarters. So I have to cut it down a little bit. So let me get my trimmer. I was playing with this set all day, like I said. It's a lot of fun. We're going to trim it to five and... I just forgot what I said. Three quarter? Oh. <sighs> yes, five and three quarter. I must cut it too small. don't want to do that. And that's all I'm going to do for now. We may have to cut it down a little bit later. So then... We bring our dies back in. And what I'm using for this one is this middle one. I think because it seemed like it fit better under the, the glue there. But let me take the big one out and show you. Yeah, see this one is more for like a 6x6 six six card. Because it goes out the edges of the envelope. So there's different ones, and then this one, I guess, would go with a like a five by five card. I could use that one too, but I'm going to use the the middle one. So this is the smaller, and actually, there's even a smaller one which would be good for like your three by three cards. So we have like a three by three, um, what did I say, six by six. We're doing this one for this five and three quarter, and then. I forget what I said for that one. So we're just going to take this. I'm going to take it over to my die cut machine and run it through just like that. And I will just have to trim a little bit right here at the edge because it, it still would be a little smaller. Actually, I'm going to center it and then I'll just trim it over the edge. Be right back. And I have to put my water back over here. <laughs> I'm out of room. Out of room. So, oops. So this is how it comes out for me. And then I just take my scissors and cut like at an angle here over to that. And same over here. I guess I should do it this way. I'm not really a perfectionist about that. And there you have it. And then we can stick it down in our envelope. Oh, see, it's actually a little too wide. So I will trim off a little bit of those edges. Not a big deal. And bring this one back up here. And... And then I bring it up to where it's just under the glue. 
and then I fold it and then I only glue the top down that's how I do it anybody else have any other suggestions put the top part yeah <laughs> yeah but you can see the bottom part too that's the thing although I did use up the final piece of that um, paper so then we just can close this and rub it. And there we have our envelope liner. Cool. Very cool. Pretty envelope to go with our somewhat pretty card. <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. And I don't know what I do with the other envelope. That I, oh, here, right here. So, yeah. Not too bad. This one took me a while just because I can't get stuff straight. So sorry about that. All right, let me clean up this and then we'll get to the second card. What time is it? Okay. An hour for one card. That's a little unusual for me. All right. Speed it up, Deb. <laughs> we're, we're sticking with the same stamp and everything. Um, the second card. Oops, that's not the second card. We're going to use the Stamparatus. Uh, so let me get things put aside here. This is the card we're going to do. It's a little easier, hopefully. I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> you would do that too, Nick. <laughs> Envelope maker from... Oh, yeah. I like doing that too. I don't do it often enough. You don't decorate the envelope? I don't always either, but you know what? This actually has stuff in it that you'll see on the last card. We're going to use these. And on this one, we're using all three. We're using three out of four of these. And also these little things here. We just use these two and this on the envelope. And I think... I think I don't know if I use this on the last one or if I use it on one just to show you we don't need the dies for this one so I'm gonna put them up out of the way for the moment this time we're using cherry cobbler and I already have a piece of whisper white in my stamparatus and that piece is um, five inches by Three and three quarter, I believe. Yes, three and three quarter. All right. So I think that kind of, it's simple, but it's cute, I think. And then the envelope, I think we'll do a little different um, this time. So I have um, the one I have in there first. And I don't have this down to a science, but I use this first with soft suede ink. Then I use this with um shaded spruce and then i use this with i think cherry cobbler i'm pretty sure yep okay so we're going to use soft suede to put the branches in and when i first did it i thought oh i'll just do you know the brown with the berries on but it felt like it was missing something Okay, now here's the thing. I know you're supposed to be able to just take this out and, I mean, the, you know, the thing and turn it. But for these particular ones, I don't do it that way. I move this again. And I'll figure out a way to do that or somebody else more brilliant than me will. But I just bring it down and sort of line it up and make it look circly <laughs> and then push it down and the only reason I do it in here is to keep the paper in the same place because if I did it with blocks I'm sure I wouldn't have the paper in the same place and that would totally mess me up so the magnets help hold the paper in place I'm gonna actually wipe that off and try again because I got it a little too inky Tap, tap. Okay. 
and it's okay if they don't perfectly line up you just want it to sort of look like a circle and you only need three oh yeah that turned out pretty good uh, you only need three to make the circle but we have to do it a few times you know with the different stamps so then we just try and line those two sort of up and that will complete our circle sort of circle <laughs> don't worry it'll be filled in by that one's a little bit off but it's okay because it's going to be filled in by um, the other one the green one so then uh, where is my green one okay here it is okay so then we have this one I'm going to offset it where the branch is sort of connected you can sort of see the leaves go with the branches a little bit. So maybe I better do it. Maybe I better do it right. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. I'm going to go opposite. Hang on. I'm going to go right there, I think. We'll see. It'll be all right. It'll be okay. Let me put my soft suede away and get my shaded spruce back out. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. I mean, I like putting the small things on. Oh, good thing I'm using Shaded Spruce because it had green on there already. Better stamp in the same place now, right? It's a little bit dark, but it's okay. I think it actually fades a little bit when you, um, when you move it. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm taking it up and moving it myself. I'm just trying to line. You can sort of see where the brown stem thing is and putting it through the center of the this one's stem. And here we go. There we go. One more, and then we do the berries, and then that'll be our wreath. So this is probably a little longer way of doing it than, um, you know, figuring out the positioning. And if you're doing multiple cards, I don't suggest doing it this way. <laughs> but, you know, you have to figure out, turn the paper or whatever. And I'll try and play around with that some other time and figure that out too. All right, well that was down a little bit, but I it's going to be okay. I'll just put berries in there or a bow in a different place. So that's that one. And now I need cherry cobbler and the berries. And I'm going to put lots of berries where that gap was. They probably line up in certain spots too, but I'm not going to be precise. Only if planning to sell. Yeah. I don't sell my cards. First of all, I don't think anybody buy them. But secondly, um, I don't know. I'd rather just give them or donate them or something. I sell the product to make the cards. I don't need to be selling cards too. So that's that one. Okay, and then we're just going to move it down again. I'm sure this little hole in these is there to line them up. I just don't know exactly how that works yet.
Yeah, I, I know you do. You have a good heart and soul, Miss Judy. Okay, one more. I'm going to move it up one more time. Move it down a little bit. All right. I think it might be to center it, that hole over the branch or something. I don't know. Ugh. Last time. Woohoo. <laughs> Okay, I'm happy with that. What do you think? You have a devilish streak. <laughs> Aww. Your mom works in a Goodwill. That's a good idea, too. I went, um, there used to be a discount grocery store right near where uh, my my local Goodwill is and Goodwill there for a while was closed it, they were taking donations but oh my goodness I went to see if that discount grocery was still open it was shut down I mean for lease and um, the Goodwill they just had they usually have a door open if somebody accepts the stuff you know but this time they had bags of stuff all over like the front landing where you go in the door and I was like, oh, my gosh. Thank you, Nix. So I, well, I wasn't there for Goodwill that day, but I didn't. It kind of kind of upset me, actually, because it was, it looked like, you know, something that would have rodents coming in or whatever. All right. This is the detailed trio punch. I'm going to use the decorative little corner edger thing. And that is in the annual catalog. It's carried over from, I don't know, at least two years now. And you just put it in so that the corners fit in that groove and push. And I use two hands sometimes just to make sure it goes through good. It usually does, especially with Whisper White. And then you get all these little bits that have to be thrown out or it'll get everywhere too. <laughs> okay. So that goes on cherry cobbler. Now we have, I'm going to go ahead and put that down and then we have to stamp a few of these flowers out. And um, that stamp is, uh, do I have it out still? Yes. That stamp, you stamp three and it cuts three at a time, which is all we need. So we'll just do one set of them, but let me go ahead and glue this down first. And I'm going to use my, non stampin up glue just because i need to get real close to these around the edges and the tombow doesn't have a fine tip i really like the tombow but i am um, not going to use it in this instance oh i forgot to stamp season's greetings oopsie oh, you know what i might intentionally make it go crooked <laughs> Just so I don't have to worry about it. Now, the season's greetings came out of a different stamp set. And I had to remember which one. <sighs> Hang on. It came out of Lots to Celebrate, which is the jar uh, set for the holiday catalog. So season's greetings, and we're going to stamp that in cherry cobbler. I just need a block to put it on. This one. Get some of these things out of the way. And I always put it on my blocks. Actually, what you should do is lay it down, like on a line somewhere. And then take your block to your stamp, and that way it won't be all warpy wobbly kind of stuff. Um, I've heard of it. I've heard of it, Brandy. I have not tried that. 
No. Have not tried it. Okay. I'm going to actually put it like, hmm, which way is the bow going? That way. I don't know. Maybe I'll try and get it sort of straight. But if it's crooked, it's intentionally crooked. <laughs> Look at that. I did beautifully. Woo yay! <laughs> Thank you guys for the thumbs ups. Oh, I'm amazed at that today, actually. Okay. Oh, we need that open still. Um, so now I need a scrap of white. We'll just use this one. Oh, look, I already have three stamped. We'll just do that. Um, that was a scrap. And in the dies, there's this. And that's what it's for. That is the little flowers. My fingers are really inky. And I cleaned them right before I came up here again. So they just fit like that. Um, and the little flower petals go in each of those little ridges. Like, I'm going to turn around and die cut, and I will be right with you. Just trying to make sure it didn't slide and put a um, post it note on so it doesn't slide. I'm going to get my um, electron uh, electronic magnetic plate back out. I put it away for a while. Ooh. Can't get a hold of the flower. There we go. Okay, and here we come. There's our cute little flowers. So what I did is I glued two down, the big one. And I put them right about here. Maybe we'll put them... Hmm. I might put one, actually, you know what, I have one, ooh, sorry, one extra one I might put right there because I have a little space there. We'll put one there, one there, and then we're going to bump one up on a mini dimensional. Thanks, Vera. Do what maybe after you retire? Uh, donate the cards. I'm sort of retired. <laughs> I retired early and I was thankful that I was able to because of my mom. So, um, but I'm not collecting any retirement money just yet. So, anyway, another, how old am I now? I'm 63, so I'm trying to hold off till 65, um, even though my official retirement age is like 66 and six months or something, the way they have it right now. Thank you, Judy. You haven't made any? Is Justine still doing her... Um, her charity, the books, you know, I haven't made any this year, but I don't know. Okay, so that is pretty much the outside, except that this, um, I just put this in my hall yesterday. This is the Wonder of the Season Ribbon Combo Pack. It came with these two, this uh, Shaded Spruce Argyle, which is gorgeous, and this Gold Cord which is one sixteenth inch gold cord and I'm just going to take a piece off and double it and do a bow and put it right there on the side. So I think this is actually my, well, I don't know. My next one might be favorite too. I like this one though a lot. So I just double it and I leave that loop there till I get the bows done. Double it over and I wrap it around. I might've got it too short. Pull it through. No, it'll be all right. Make sure it's tight. And then, oops, snip this one because that's really your, your little thing. And there we have a double bow. And then you can play around with it and get them, you know, shortened or whatever. 
I am not the best bow tire either. Tire. <laughs> the best tire of bows, but that one came out okay. And I just take a glue dot off the glue dot rolls, and we're going to put it right over here, like I did on the first one. So we have flowers there or flower there. You can put more flowers on if you wanted to. But I don't think we really need any more. And I'm going to cut this down a little bit. And then over here too. Okay. Okay. So now we have to do the inside. And all I did on the inside was take another piece of Whisper White cardstock. Um, three and three quarter by five and do the corners and there we have it 36 oh you're a young you're a young and lucky you I guess I don't know if I could uh, I don't know I don't know looking back I honestly don't know how I did everything I did as I was doing it <laughs> I really don't because I went to school nights for 12 years to get my college degree while I was raising a family and taking care of a house and working like 60 hours a week. I really don't know how I did it, but I did. And I'm alive to tell about it, so that's amazing. But um, unfortunately, it took its toll on, you know, marriages and stuff there too. So, but I felt like I had to work to you know, provide for my family and my husband's, either one of them at the time, didn't really make that much. So if I wanted any kind of nice home or anything, it was up to me, basically. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. There is our second card, guys. I think we have time for one more. So I think that came out cute. And that was... Deb's way of doing the wreath and I think it's easy and it works you probably could just put these on a block and if you're good at it you can eyeball it and do it without the stamparatus like I said I just used the stamparatus to hold the paper in place more or less because I I would have it moving all around so there's card two using the em ornamental envelopes and on the next card oh we didn't do the envelope oh, what did I do with the envelope I don't know. Um, I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. We'll do an envelope. We'll just do the little flowers in the corner. I think that's what I did anyway. I'll just put the little flowers in the corner. It's funny. I really don't know what I did with the envelope. I know I did one. Just going to do the flowers there, and then I'll do the flowers here and that's all we'll do for that one I think the other one I did a few more but I don't know what I did with it so oh well <laughs> when your kitty grows up yeah yep or maybe you retire <laughs> well you know what though Nix you never retire from that job <laughs> being a, a mother a clinical dye? I don't have a clinical dye. I don't even know what that is. What is a clinical dye? <laughs> there you go. Autumn. See, I'm doing autumn next month. Mm. Am I doing autumn? I think I'm doing autumn next month and then Halloween. Okay, so on to the next. Oh, there was the envelope to the other one. I like this one that we just did better. Okay. Um... Okay, so the next card is this one. So I did green, I did red, and now I'm doing the blue, the misty moonlight blue with um, silver. So <laughs> this one, we're going to do some stamping too. And I have this on a big block which is block E. And I'm going to get my embossing buddy out because we're going to stamp twice in two different directions with these ornaments. 
because I think the silver embossing makes them gorgeous. And then we're going to use some brushing to do the background. All right, Bursa Mark. Now there's a die that cuts these out too, but when you cut them out, it cuts them out individually like, like this, which I shouldn't have just laid on there. And I used them on another card, some of them, and I'll show you that, but we're not going to do that tonight. But I have four left from doing that. But we're not cutting these out this time. We're just going to stamp it twice. Yeah, it's but that's because it's that misty moonlight, Judy. I love it, too. It's my color. Blue. And I'm, I just pushed down to give the ink a minute or two to sink into the paper. And then I'm going to turn the paper over, trying carefully not to touch the front of it too much. Ink it up again with the Versa mark. And here we go again in the opposite way. Okay, and then I am going to clean my stamp because if I don't, Versa Mark is a sticky mess on your stamps if you don't clean them. I did forget to clean my chamois before I came on, so ooh, shame on me. Okay, now we're using silver embossing powder, which Stampin' Up! does still carry, and... I don't have it in a tub this color, so I'm just using a coffee filter, and I'm going to try and pick up a corner that doesn't, ah, maybe, it doesn't um, have the Versa mark on. And we're probably going to end up using most of the tub to, to get it on here. And then I'm going to flip it over so I can do this bottom part. And then I'm going to take a peek at it and make sure it looks like I got everything. Maybe a little bit more here. And maybe a little bit more right there. Now, this is very important. Put your embossing powder away. I'm going to do this over a scrap, too. Um, before you start heating... <laughs> So you don't melt your embossing powder into a big blob. And also to conserve your embossing powder. And I'm actually just going to throw that out because I've used it about three, three or four times now. And this too. Okay. Here we go. Noise time. Can you bring that up to the this? I'm sorry. That's before it's, um, or this, the one that's done. I'm not sure what I was supposed to be bringing up to the camera. Oh, the card. Okay. I use silver embossing powder and silver foil. So I'm going to emboss now. So here comes the noise. And I always go underneath first. Actually, you know what? Hang on. I had to bring that back up. I just noticed a spot I either touched or um, something. I don't know. Right here on this little guy. I must have touched it because I thought I checked. Okay. Sorry about that. My trash can is just beneath me and it's pretty cool, so it's like right on top. <laughs> That's the one we're making, Brandy. I always go underneath first to get it good and then I flip it over, hold it down, and go back and forth a little bit till it starts turning.
I just love that. Isn't that so cool? Let me make sure nope, I missed that spot. And just sort of look and make sure none of it looks dull. When it looks wet and shiny, it's done. And then let it cool for a minute. <laughs> No, I think I need a little more up here. Yep. Okay. I have to let it cool again. I'm going to flip that scrap paper over that I had. And now we're going to do some ink brushing. This is not a Stampin' Up! product. This is Amazon. And I bought it a while ago. But if you just look up makeup brushes. I, I got like a two pack of these bigger ones. And then I went and got a pack of all of the sizes. But I honestly don't use them that much. Alright, we're going to start with Seaside Spray. We're going to bring in Balmy Blue. And then lastly, we're going to bring in Misty Moonlight. So three blues. Because I got the blues. <laughs> I got the blues. I know. Isn't that so pretty? And it's it's in the ornamental envelopes. But, oh my gosh, you don't need to use that on envelopes, you know? Anyway. So, and I just brush this. And then the Seaside Spray is very light. So, you really don't need to brush off too much. But I start on the paper. And work my way into my my card front. See, I got a little bit extra there. But it's all good. I'm going to go a little more on this color. I have to get this stamp set out of the way. And I'm going to kind of come in from the side over here and do over here. And that's about it for Seaside Spray. You can do it as much as or as little as you want. And then I'm going to just brush it off. I'm using the same brush for all three, but I'm working from the lightest color to the darkest color so I don't contaminate my ink pads. Puny. And I missed something. Okay, so now I'm going to come in from the side again with the balmy blue, and it's a little bit darker, and I'm going to blend it in with that bottom part of the Seaside Spray. I'm going to turn this around because I want a little more over on this side here, too. And I might even do a little bit along the edge up there. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing and just rub the brush off till I get as much of that color off as I can. And then we'll bring in Misty Moonlight. Now you could put this either way because you've got the Christmas balls going this way and this way. I prefer the darker at the bottom, what I call the bottom, but that could be your top. It's up to you. Or you can do it in any color you want also. Hmm. Now this is much darker, see. This is the misty moonlight. It's gorgeous. I'm just blending it in. I can even go around the edges with that a little bit. I didn't do that on the first one. Okay. I think I'm happy with that. <laughs> I got that a little darker, but it's okay because, excuse me, on my card, that's going to be covered up. So I think that's pretty. <laughs> oh, funny, but with punny. I got it. I got it. Oops, I put my balmy blue in the wrong place. <sighs> okay. So now... This is, let me give you measurements and get this out of the way. So this piece was 
three and three quarter by five. So then I did a layer of Misty Moonlight and I think that was just an eighth of an inch bigger. It's uh, three and seven eighths, yep, by five and one eighth. And then I did a layer of silver foil paper, which is four by five and a quarter. And then it goes on a misty moonlight A2 card base, which is five and a half by four and a quarter. So let's start gluing these down. Bring out my Tombow for this. You could use your seal or seal plus or whatever, but I want to make sure I get it straight. I may use, eh, no, we'll use blue. Popcorn. <laughs> You're funny, Brandy. I, the last two days, I've been pretty good, except that I did have one of those mini packs of M&M peanut uh, today. But I had a salad for uh, lunch, sort of a late lunch. I'm going to wipe my fingernail on my chamois because I see I have one of those ridges again. And um, I did good for breakfast, too, today. Pretty good. I'm just going to rub that down this way. Since my paper is nice and clean. All right. And now I am going to use wet glue. I'm going to try not to go real close to the edges, though, because I don't want it to squirt out. Um onto the foil because wet glue on foil is a pain to clean up. So each one of these layers is an eighth of an inch um, bigger than the next one, than the other one. And the foil, I usually try to um, cut something out of the foil, but I just said the heck with it today and went with it. And then we'll put that down on here. I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> this would probably be my Christmas card. I, I don't know. for Because I love not so much the ornaments, but the foil with the misty moonlight. And they, they just work with it. So anyway, I think... Now you could just do one side here and then put a sentiment here and a ribbon across or something or a ribbon going up and down this way. But I, I played around with that actually a little bit, but I, it wasn't, it wasn't doing anything for me. Okay. So now before we put the inside in, we're going to use the stitch so sweetly dies and we're using the two middle ones of these scallops rectangles um so i used the silver foil again i used a scrap actually it even has polka dots on it i think something was on my plate so i already did that one but i need to do one out of the misty moonlight but not before i heat emboss merry christmas in silver so and you know because i can't get anything straight right uh, we're going to do that first. And that came out of the Perfectly Plaid stamp set, which is in the, I think, in the annual catalog. It carried over, but it's in the annual now. So it's available now. And it goes with the Pine Tree Punch, that set. Sorry, I had to lick my stamp. Okay. Let me get my little embossing buddy again and i'm just going to do one area up here and my versamark and it really doesn't matter if it's straight but you don't want to get it too close to the edge because you need to have room to center it in the rectangle Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to clean that stamp off real quick. A little bit. I'll clean them better later. And um, silver heat embossing. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown my thingy out. 
my silver embossing powder again. So, ooh, season's greetings flew from somewhere. Okay. So here we go again. There's a lot of embossing today, which is okay. I don't usually do that much because I never felt like I was really good at it. I'm going to give that another dose. Sometimes I do okay. The gold one is the one I have the trouble with. For some reason, I always get little flakes with the gold embossing powder. I'm going to do this later because I found a little speck of something in the in there. I might be wasting some of that. We shall see. Okay, moving that out of the way. Make sure there's none on here. And bring in the heat gun again. Here we go. Yeah, I do too. It's one of my favorite Merry Christmas fonts. Okay, here we go. Magic. I'm just going to go over the bottom again to unwarp the paper. I'm going to let it cool for a second before I put it through the die cut machine. Yeah, that was one of my favorites. And there's another one um, I think I used on one of the three cards I'll show you, but we're not going to do together. It turned out all right. There's a little bit down here, but I'm not going to worry about that because it's going to be below the... Um, the rectangle I think okay now that looks about centered pretty good maybe there and I'm using my little squirrel oh I had this bigger one oops okay <laughs> we double whammy it okay turning around to I cut I think that would fit through the new mini machine that Stampin' Up's coming out with sometime this year, we think. The big one is coming out uh, for pre-order in August for demonstrators. And to customers, the die cut machine in um, September. So that was from the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Both of those. And what I do with the other one that was the foil. Here it is. Let's put that away. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is the third card. And I'm going to show you three other ones when we're done this one. But, uh, well, <laughs> the first card was a little funny. But, um, yeah. So this is the one we're working on right here. We heat embossed. This is using, it's all using the ornamental envelopes as the main stamp set. Um, now what I'm going to do is actually glue this silver piece down here. Up a little bit. Down, and then I'm going to put this up on dimensionals. And then we're going to just decorate it with some of the silver and white and moonlight, misty moonlight twine from the flowers for every season ribbon combo pack and put some silver pearls on and then we'll be done well except for the inside and the envelope <laughs> did i miss oh hi mary sorry i missed you coming in sorry about that i saw honeybees come in hi honeybees so this is silver spoil sheet run through using the um stitch so sweetly dies and I'm bumping up the Misty Moonlight that we just heat embossed in silver. The Merry Christmas out of the um, plaid. What's it called? <laughs> I already lost it. Anyway, the plaid set with the pine trees. It goes with the pine tree punch. It's in the annual catalog. That's where I got my sentiment from. But the other... Uh, this one is from the new mini catalog, effective August 4th. 
Ooh, no, 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 no. And then we have one shot to get this sort of centered and straight. And I think I did pretty good. Okay. So now let me get the twine out. I'll tell you what, I wish they sold this twine separately because I'm using a lot, <laughs> using a lot and, and not using up the other stuff enough. I have to make some card using the other stuff. All right. Where's my end here? Here it is, I think. Yep. So we're just going to tie a single bow with this uh, twine. And I leave it on the roll. I try to. Sometimes I can't, but I actually worked pretty good that time. And um, I explained earlier that you can die cut these out too. There's dies with this bundle. And I, I only have four of them left because I used some on a card, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, I think I have the tails on this a little too long yet. There we go. And I just need a glue dot again. I keep all my glue dots and dimensionals and stuff in this little basket in front of me. And that way I can just bring it down when I need it. I have backup stuff in a drawer. Okay. There we go. Silver's coming off that a little bit. And then silver pearls. And then we still have to do the inside. So the silver pearls are in the annual catalog. They're part of the metallic pearls kit, which has silver and gold, which I'm almost out of the gold, but I have I bought I just bought another pack. Because I can't be without gold pearls. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vera. Okay, so let's put these on. If you're, um, if you, I use the putty end for these pearls because if I use the other side, the glue stuff on the bottom of the pearl sometimes comes off the back. If that happens, just use your fine tip glue and put a tiny little dot on your card wherever you want it to be. You might want to do that anyway, just as extra precaution but for the sake of time I put five on uh, and I didn't use the glue stuff because I have had issue sometimes with the pearls getting rubbed off so there's the outside of the card and then on the inside I just stamped a tiny little um, ornament and I'm trying to find that on my desk <laughs> Uh, we might not do that because I don't know if I can find it right now. Hang on. <laughs> that is so funny. I don't think I put that away. But I might have. Uh, it's probably stuck on a block with something else. Oh, here it is. Yep, it was. Stuck on a block with something else. Robbing Peter to pay Paul's, as they say. Okay, so we can do that. And... We're just going to use, what did I use? Oops, wrong one. Used um, seaside spray. I will bring all the cards up at the end. And I'm just going to put that up in the corner. You could put, oh, see, that didn't, now the nice thing is, Photopolymer, you can see through. Let me try and do that again. Or I'll flip it over. I'm not seeing. There, maybe there. Oh, I got it. Nope, flipping it over. Ah, flipping it this way. <laughs> I do always say, try and use a, um, there we go, a mat underneath photopolymer. I didn't do that this time, so shame on me. But I just have too much stuff on my desk right now. 
All right, and then I have another piece of silver foil. So this one, I think it's the same as the front. Yep, three and three quarter by five. So this is um, five and a quarter by four. And we're going to just glue it down. I do have a little ink down here in the corner, probably off my, look at that. Oh my gosh, how did I do that? <laughs> I don't know. On the right block. Yes, right on the right block. But also with a mat underneath would be better. Okay, I'm not going real close to the edges again. Because I don't want it to ooze out onto the foil. And that's going to be straight enough. And I'm putting it over like this so I don't touch the white as much anymore. Okay, we're almost there, guys. What time is it? Oh, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Wonderful. So, the things I've been saying are in the annual catalog, like the, um, the plaid... I think it's called Plaid Tidings stamp set. Perfectly plaid stamp set. And the Pine Tree Punch, they're in the annual. Um, the Shimmer Paper. You know, the card stocks, obviously. Okay, so there's our, our cards that we did. We heat embossed these, and then we used three colors, Seaside Spray, Balmy Blue, and Misty Moonlight, and used a brush and did the background. And then we heat embossed the Merry Christmas, which was out of the perfectly plaid stamp set on Misty Moonlight and backed it with silver foil. And there you have it. And then the envelope, we're not going to do the envelope the way I did it this time. Um, this is actually another die, but I think it'll take too, oops, that's not it. It'll take too long to do it, but let me show you the die. It's in the, um, it's in the set. It's this one. It does not cut the strip out. It just cuts the design out. So it leaves it hollow. And then whatever you have underneath of there will show through. So we're not going to do that right now because it just takes a little while. But that's how you do it. And there's another one that does the same thing. But basically these three, we use this on the first card. Um, this will do the same thing. It will cut out like the leafy pattern across there. And then if you had like green underneath or red or something, it would show through or pattern paper, but it had to be double sided pattern paper. So here's the dies I was telling you about for the design we just did on the card. And so you stamp it once and then it cuts all the individual little ornaments out. So I had done another one. And I'll bring that in and show you too. So we're not going to do this envelope. I used three of them on here, but I used some on another card too. Um, so let me bring the cards we did today in using the ornamental envelopes. This is the third one. I had to make room. Hang on, guys. <laughs> I am out of room. Out of room, out of room. Okay. So this was the second one we did, which we used the Stamparatus, and we used, let me get the stamp set, and I'll show you as soon as I find what I do with that. We used this with Soft Suede, then this with Shaded Spruce, then this with Cherry Cobbler, and we stamped three times to make the circle with each one, starting with the Soft Suede branch, then the shaded spruce then the berries and we use the detailed trio punch to do the corners and then these little flowers are one stamp set i mean one stamp which is very stained right now with cherry cobbler and there is a die that cuts them out as individual flowers too which is right here so we did that there's also this little individual um ornament and there are two, you could stamp it multiple times, and there's two extra little dies to do that. I didn't use those tonight. So then the first card we did is this one. Well, this is the one I did before I came on. And this is the one we did together. We just changed it up. We used shimmer paper underneath, and we um, 
use the watercolor brush with just braid just jade <laughs> I kept wanting to say sprayed and braid it's, anyway it's just jade underneath we did the same thing on this one but we used whisper white anyway long story I edged the um, ends with shaded spruce this is from the new bow bundle which is called gift wrapped bundle which has a punch love it and we use this one here and we color that in with alcohol markers the blends with light just jade and light shaded spruce so those are the three we did now I had done before I came on today here's another envelope I did I used that same little flower but I used it in seaside spray and there's the front so that was cute using the lines on the envelope and the flower so that's something else we could do and then I sort of briefly showed this in the beginning when you cut this out well, actually out of the green one you get this stem like this which is what I used on here um, and then I just cut out a bunch of flowers and I glued them down the last two on the ends or popped up on mini dimensionals stamped the flowers this is in cherry cobbler the paper I used here the designer paper is tis the, is from tis the season so is this one here the pine needles um, and this is the reverse of that green one here and then I use some of the shaded spruce from the holiday uh, collection now this Merry Christmas was a different one and it came out of poinsettia petal stamp set it looks really small there but these are at 65 percent so when you open them up they're actually bigger much bigger like here's the comparison of there's the Merry Christmas and here it is on the front so it's it's bigger than it looks in the picture is what I'm trying to say which I love that's a sort of similar font to the perfectly plaid and I love it what am I missing here which bundle Nyx <laughs> yes I do use my leftover ornaments I have another card to show uh, actually I have two more uh, this is one using the leftover ornaments too. Um, I brought out Most Wonderful Time, which is from the product medley because I wanted to deck the halls. And I didn't have another one that said deck the halls without with boughs of holly on it. So that is from the Most Wonderful Time product medley, which is a carryover from last year if you have it. So I took that silver and white and blue twine. I wrapped it around um, Whisper White. And I actually just tied this one on to the center and put it up on a dimensional. This one's also on a dimensional. I actually used a 1 8 inch hole punch and punched through the center. Um, this part of the ornament right here to put the string through. This one is up on a double dimensional. So I stacked them because that made it even with this, which is up on a dimensional for some reason. That's higher. Now, this time, the designer paper in the background is from Feels Like Frost, um, which I don't, it's here, but it's buried. And these are the lines from the stamp, um, the, or, the envelope stamp, just for design. And then lots of silver pearls from the metallic pearls again. And let's see what I did on the inside. This one opens up and down. It's on Misty Moonlight. And here I just put another one of the little silver ornaments. And that's uh, Seaside Spray on Misty Moonlight and Whisper White. I feel like I should have done more on the inside. And then the last one I did is this one. Actually, it was one of the earlier ones. So here's the same ornaments we just used in the with the heat embossing. But this time, I stamped them in Misty Moonlight. And I colored them in with Real Red and Mango Melody Light and Dark for both of them. Um... And then this ribbon is the new, uh, what is it called? Braided linen thread, I think it's called. Braided linen trim, 3 16th inch. It's in the, the new mini catalog. <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, I thought they were bright and cheerful. And then the dots on it um, came from two different sets. Hang on. They came, the yellow came, I'm sorry, the red, real red, came from the All the Trimmings Embellishments pack in the mini catalog. And the Crushed Curry, which is closest to the Mango Melody, uh, came from playing with patterns, resin dots right here. So I used two different ones because I didn't have them in the same pack. And so I put like five of those on. And I don't know. Inside I did the same little ornament hanging again, but just used Mango Melody uh, on the Misty Moonlight. So that was bright and colorful. Something different from the silver and blue. Still has blue. I actually think I like this one a lot. <laughs> I like them all but those are what I've been able to do so far with the ornamental envelopes and a few other products mostly to get the um, you know the um, sentiments is what I'm trying to say so yeah I really hope you enjoyed that I had fun today making all the cards uh, you know that's true and even the real catalog is so much better than seeing it in a PDF, in my opinion, because I printed the PDF and the, my ink and the paper quality is just not the same. So, next you're getting this bundle. Yeah, I think it's versatile. I mean, it's called ornamental envelopes, but, I mean, look at all the cards that we did plus envelopes. And... Um, and I, I still have other ideas, but, you know, I don't have any more time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I, that's my problem. Sometimes I get too many ideas, and then my brain goes into, like, shut down because I don't know where to go, uh, where to start. And sometimes I start, and things don't turn out the way I thought they were going to turn out. So, yeah, so, so far I've got six, well, we made three today so that's six and I have three more here so I made nine cards today <laughs> thank you Judy thank you Brandy thank you Vera <laughs> it might have to be on your list too yeah I look I do look for versatility in my sets and but I'm I'm also trying to do better at really using a set for everything all the potential that it has because sometimes I get stuck like I, I like a favorite thing in the set and then I'll just use that all the time but really try and use your sets when you get them because especially the bundles you can have you know the bundle the dies and the punches you know make make it even more and then like like I do this doesn't have any sentiments. So if you want to use it for cards, you need sentiments. And I pull from various different places. I pulled from Most Wonderful Time, Lots to Celebrate for this season's greetings on one of them. Um, the plaid, perfectly plaid for the Merry Christmas on another one. And I don't, I, I pulled Christmas Gleaming, but I think I didn't end up using it because that had the deck the halls with boughs of holly and I didn't want that oh and and I also used poinsettia petals for the Merry Christmas so and the wrapped the gift wrapped for the bow <laughs> so you know pull from your you don't have to have that many but you know pull from your other sets and make it work however you want it to which one next is $30. <laughs> Judy, I need help organizing too, which is why I had to sell all that stuff because I didn't have room to put any of the new stuff. <laughs> and I barely still can walk in here. I mean, and when I get going on projects like this, my desk right now is like, psh, I have to clean it up as soon as we're done. Ornal, uh, ornamental envelopes I'm not, I can't remember it might be but it has a lot of dyes so I'm not sure the dyes tend to 
if you mean the bundle, I might, it's probably more than that for the bundle. Make sure you're looking at the bundle. Wow, really? You have, I thought you had like three deaths, Judy. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'm soon due for a road trip or something as soon as this mess is calmed down some because uh, I'm starting to get a little like I need to go see something besides my house and my yard and things like that pretty soon. I'm not next. Check it out. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We need to need to have a road trip. All right, everybody. I am gonna go. I guess have dinner and clean my desk. You have three desks, and they're all. I have two, and they're both covered too. And my other one is like um, it's a piece of kitchen countertop, not granite, but you know that whatever that other stuff is called. It looks like granite, and it's on top of computer desk and a two shelf bookcase and that is my jewelry table oh thank you honeybees yeah I figured the bundle was more than 30 because I don't know usually punches are cheaper bundles than the dies but when you have that many dies it's usually not that so thank you for the information although none of it can be ordered until August 4th but if you need anything to stock up on, please use the July host code, uh, which is this for me through July 31st. Now, Donna Jackson, who is Crafts and More with Donna Jackson, she's going to have a party starting August 4th in line with the new catalog uh, going live. So be sure I'll have a host code for her starting August 4th. So, um, yeah, be sure to use that, but you don't want to miss out this month if you need any cardstock or, you know, glues, adhesives, embossing powders, whatever. Um, perfectly plaid stamp set and the pine tree punch, things like that. Get them now in July and you'll get bonus coupons, $5 for every $50 that you spend. And that will come to you in email, so make sure, and it'll come to you as soon as your order is placed and paid. Um, so be sure to check your email and make sure you got it. And if you didn't, check your junk email, uh, your junk account or whatever it's called, junk folder, and um, or your spam folder, and make sure it didn't go there because somebody else had that problem. It went to their junk folder. And luckily they found it. But if you, if you can't find it there, call customer service and make sure you get your code. Yeah, you might have. <laughs> yep, I think it's a good buy for everything you can do with it. I think it's a great buy. And the prices, in my opinion, are uh, as good as any of the other big names on the market. I'll just put it that way. Um, okay, so I think that's it. Uh, Paper Pumpkin for August. Sign up by August 10th. It's going to be more manly type cards, but apparently okay to use for anybody. I don't know. I, uh, all I saw was trophies and um, things in the picture. And if you really like Stampin' Up! a lot, talk to me about joining my little team. We'd love to have you. And um, I'll try and take care of you as best I can for being a small demonstrator. <laughs> Not so much small personally, but you know. <laughs> All righty, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you so much for the thumbs ups. I really appreciate that too. I'm trying to get to 3,000 so I can do a giveaway. And I keep fluctuating around 2980 now. So... Cherish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm going to go have a wonderful evening. Have a great weekend, everybody. I hopefully would be back on tomorrow morning. If I get my act together with two videos and then tomorrow evening. I'm not sure what time sometime after five with Saturday stamping. That'll probably just be one card or so. Thank you, Judy. God bless you too. And have a great weekend. I put my little thing in here.
and stay safe. Please stay safe. And don't go by a certain governor. <laughs> Wear a mask when you go out. Sorry, that's just my spiel. Yeah, soon. Next soon. 3K for me, hopefully. <laughs> bye, Vera. Bye, Mix. Bye, Honeybees. Bye, Judy. Bye, Brandy, if you're still there. I think she left already. All right. Take care.